Uh, so my name's Sarah, I'm 29. Um, I first kind of started riding when I was about nine years old, but horses has always been something that I've wanted to do. I grew up in South East London, there wasn't really much going on in terms of horses, um, but it's just something that's been in me. Apparently, my first day of nursery, I introduced myself as horse. No idea where it's come from, my family aren't horsey at all. Um, but I was just lucky enough that there was a riding school quite close so I was able to start riding and riding wasn't enough for me. I wanted to learn how to look after horses and how to tack up, how to feed, how to groom. So I realistically, without that riding school, I wouldn't have got those opportunities to learn because I literally took myself there and I was there from morning all the way to closing. Um, that yard had a system called a working pupil system. So I was able to then get rides in exchange for my help that I was given and eventually I was able to start teaching lessons. So I had quite a good foundation from that riding school. Um, unfortunately, as I got older and I started expressing myself religiously, I didn't always feel like I fitted in um, within the equestrian community. Um, and I kind of took myself away from it. And it was only if I was traveling that I'd get to ride, etc. And literally during COVID, I just thought to myself, you know what, horses is what I want to do. Horses is all I know, horses is all I'm really good at. I need to get into horses again. And I found Urban Equestrian on Instagram, dropped them a message and was like, do you guys need a hand? And then that's basically how it started. And two years on now, here we are. So we mainly run during school holidays. So you'll see me here pretty much anytime we have a session. Um, I've recently moved back to London from Newmarket. I was working as a stud hand. So during breeding season and foaling season, I was basically a horse midwife for racehorses, whilst being pregnant, ironically. Um, so I literally, I went over to the National Stud, I'd done a course there, and then I was employed by Judmont, which is quite a well-known and well-established um, breeding and racing company. Um, and I've just basically come back to have my baby, and I'm back with Urban Equestrian. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do from here. I would like to go into instructing kind of more full-time, um, so it's a case of me kind of just working out the logistics, but yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I think the most rewarding thing is literally seeing the children enjoy themselves. You know, we get children that come that have never touched a horse before and by the end of the session, they're, they're wanting to stay and we're having to say, sorry, it's home time. And that is what we want. I remember we had a session at the beginning of summer um, and one of the little girls said, one day I'm gonna take over this yard. And that for me was a moment and it gives me goosebumps because that's the attitude I had when I started riding. I was like, yeah, this is what I want. And I didn't really feel like I could do it growing up. And even now as an adult, I'm like, oh, is it possible? But it's like, if you've got that vision, I'm here to make sure that you can get as far as you want to get to. So in order for me to do that, I need to push myself as well. So the unique thing about Urban Equestrian is the fact that it is for kids, but as adults, it's really, you know, the volunteers here have now got their space as well as the children. And I think that is really key, you know, it works both ways.